hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i am going to cover uh, some of the interview question that swapnil has asked me to explain uh, so most of the question uh, that he sent me is asked during the emphasis interview question and also today i am going to cover some topics uh, like what is fact table what is dimension table and what is factless fact table so let's start one by one so first um, let's understand what is fact table so uh, in data warehouse basically we having uh, two category of table first one is the fact table and the second one is the dimension table so by combining or uh, by creating these two uh, table we are basically designing a data warehouse so let's understand first what is fact table so basically fact table is also like a like table that we see uh, like other tables uh, do exist in data warehouse but the main property of fact table is that it having the primary key and uh, primary key of the dimension tables and also it stored the like uh, measures so measures means basically any quantity that we can count uh, like how many uh, like quantity of any particular product is being sold and the price of that product so all uh, those like uh, uh, like calculative uh, uh, details that we are storing in a fact table okay and what is dimension table dimension tables basically provide a descriptive information like suppose uh, time dimensions tables are there location dimensions are uh, there and items so dimension tables basically here what it is store it is store the time time day month quarter so basically it having a less quantity of data and mostly the type of data that are not getting changed on frequently basis okay but in fact table we having a very huge volume of data and the, that data basically store the like quantity that is being sold amount average sale for that particular item so uh, that all kind of information we are storing in a fact table and it it is the main difference between the dimension table and the fact table is that fact table uh, basically store the uh, measures that we can count or that we can use for any aggregation or any summation kind of use but in uh, dimension table it basically store the descriptive information like location city name and the item item name like any product name brand sold by category so all the descriptive information we store in the dimension table but the quantity like sale related any information we are storing in a fact table and uh, dimension table basically hold a very less amount of data and that are not very uh, frequently uh, getting changed but in um, uh, sorry dimension table uh, data are not getting changed frequently but in a fact table on daily basis or on a um, some particular duration we are whenever we having any item get sold we are storing that information in a fact table okay so that is the main difference between fact table and the dimension table but we also having one more uh, uh, fact table that is called a factless fact table so what is the difference between fact table and factless table is uh, is fact table factless table is also like a fact table but the main difference is that we are not storing any uh, like amount related information we are just uh, uh, storing um, like uh, date related information information like when when that product got sold so just to uh, like understand like how frequently that product is getting sold out so but we are not storing any amount related information like quantity amount average sale we are not storing in a factless fact table but in fact table we are storing the quantity amount and average related details so that is all about the fact table and factless fact table okay so that i covered uh, factless fact table fact table and dimension table now moving towards the interview question um, that uh, swapnil has uh, shared so first question is uh, what is surrogate key 
सो सैरोगेट की वी जनरली यूज इन डेटा वेयर हाउस सो सैरोगेट की इज बेसिकली अ न्यूमेरिक की एंड ऑटो जनरेटेड बाई अ डेटा बेस सो इट हैविंग नो एनी बिजनेस लाइक इट हैविंग नो बिजनेस मीनिंग सो सपोज वी आर क्रिएटिंग एनी टेबल ओके सो हियर वी हैव डिफाइंड वन प्राइमरी की लाइक टाइम आई डी बट to suppose uh, that primary uh, key could be like where care also it's not like mandatory that should be a integer value that could be a where care or any other uh, data type but uh, uh, when we are uh, suppose we are creating that uh, um, primary key as a where care so same primary uh, key we have to store in a uh, fact table as a foreign key so so uh, if we are defining um, uh, primary key uh, we are storing primary key in a factless table and that that is of um, uh, any other uh, data type like where cap so it will take some more storage to store that uh, key so it would be better to create a separate key that would be a surrogate key but it has no business meaning and that and one more property of the surrogate key is that should be a always an integer value okay so integer value take less uh, space uh, to store as compared to a where care so that is why we are using surrogate key in data warehouse because it takes less uh, um, memory to store and it is uh, just um, for the creating indexes we are using surrogate key okay so i hope you understood what why we are using surrogate key instead of primary key so that is the um, main difference uh, that uh, why we are using surrogate key uh, instead of primary key in data warehouse so i have answered uh, first question and the second one so second question was uh, we have a primary key in table then what is the use of surrogate key so that i already uh, explained you now moving to the third question if we have a primary key then can we use surrogate key yes we can use surrogate key okay because surrogate key also uniquely identify each row so basically uh, we are uh, creating surrogate key in dimension table because uh, same surrogate key we have to use in a fact table so it would take less uh, amount to store uh, that is why we are using surrogate key now the next question is uh, difference between fact table and dimensions table so that i already covered so now the fourth question is what is data purging so data purging is suppose uh, in data warehouse we having like 20 years of data but uh, for client uh, they don't want to use like data more than of 10 years so in that case we have to delete some uh, extra record that already present in data warehouse that is of no use of client okay so in that case we what we have to do we have to to delete all the uh, record that are Mm, like of uh, greater than 10 years uh, uh, data uh, age range okay so in that case what we do we have to delete all the uh, record that are old and older than 10 years so that comes that is called a data purging means del deleting the old records now the fifth question is how to check the count between staging and uh, target so for that you can use count star just to check the uh, data between staging and target now the sixth question is if there is a different uh, if there is a difference between count of staging and target then what will you do so in that case we have to report that uh, differences to the dev team and um, like log a one bug for that mismatch now the seventh question is how you used flat file in your pro, uh, project so that i already covered in my one of my previous video just, so jo, just go and check out that video so uh, so uh, just to load that flat, flat file i have already explained we have used uh, we are using win sap tool or maybe sometime you can directly import that record uh, using the data uh, any um, that db tool okay now the eighth question is what is factless fact table that i already explained you like uh, factless ta uh, table 
uh, is also like a fact table but uh, with the main difference is that it does not store um, any uh, like quant uh, quanti quantity like uh, quantity sold amount sold it only store the date uh, related information like when that uh, product got sold and how frequently that uh, product is getting sold out so that kind of information we are storing in a factless fact table now the ninth question is uh, which etl tool you are using in your project so whatever uh, tool you are using you can explain them like informatica data stage azure or any other tool you can explain if you having any prior experience now uh, in case you have no like uh, hands on uh, on any of the tool you can just simply say that we are like loading the data using the stored procedure okay so dev team is creating some stored procedure and now and you have to just execute that stored procedure to validate the uh, data between the source and target so um, these are the various ways uh, you can uh, explain the tenth question is what are the validation that you validate uh, during etl testing and what will be your scenario so that i already prepared i already made one video for that one just go and check out now the eleventh question is do you have any experience in api testing if you are working in api testing you can say that yes i have already used postman just to validate the data okay so uh, i am not very frequently using any api tool so one, only one time uh, during the adf validation i have used postman so it's it's a very simple tool you have to just uh, paste the url and you have to modify some parameter and post uh, post the query by using post or get method so that's a very simple one you can go and check out any videos and you can easily understand how to do the api testing now the db related question what he faced uh, first one is display the last five records so how to display the last record just you can do select uh, top five stuff from table name order by descending okay so by doing descending uh, descending any column name order by that uh, any column name column name one descending okay and uh, by doing uh, this way you can get the uh, last five records okay now the second question is in employee table there is a column email id whose data type is varchar then how will you validate the valid email id for that you have to use regular expression so maybe that i'll cover in one of my separate video okay so i hope uh, you like my this video and also i have started on um, like uh, live session so if you want any etl related uh, recorded session you can just email me i'll provide you the recorded session for the complete etl testing like in that video i'll cover etl testing plus the sql part so please let me know if you have any doubt till then bye thank you